life crisis paradigm changing? Well, this is about stage five of the six stages of the midlife crisis. And this is where the bulk of the work gets done and you start to transform yourself in ways that you probably couldn't have even imagined before. And it can be a bit challenging, but don't give up because you're almost there. And there are things that can really, not can, do really work to help you. And we're gonna share with you what some of those are. So the question is, what works to change paradigms, which is really what the fundamental about what stage five is all about. Now, there's some things that work extremely well, and they can get you there in two years or less. Now, don't feel frustrated or upset because people that don't do this process struggle 40, 50, 60, and if you're blessed with a long life, maybe even longer years with the same issues over and over again. And honestly, if you do the work of your midlife crisis, it just doesn't need to be that way. You can start to feel better right away and see improvements on issues that you may not even have known were affecting you in the ways that they were. And we're gonna share with you how to do that in this video, so stay tuned. My name is Kira Leskew, and I founded the Eagle Institute to help entrepreneurs and business leaders use meditation solutions to improve their work lives as well as their personal lives. And on that journey, I had a really challenging midlife crisis. And before I was even done my own midlife crisis, I found myself in a lot of the training I was doing, discovering that people that were coming to me for meditation for other reasons were in fact having a midlife crisis. And I discovered and noticed that there are six distinct stages of a midlife crisis. Now, what I also noticed in talking to a lot of other people out in the world and things that I see online, that a relatively small percentage of people successfully get through a midlife crisis because they don't really know what it's all about. And I intend to raise that percentage significantly. So stay tuned and I'm gonna share with you how. Let's talk about what a midlife crisis is and what it's not. So midlife crisis is, um, or sort of the common perception of what people think the midlife crisis is, is having an affair or feeling dissatisfied or, you know, quitting your job or changing your business or getting divorced or something like that. But the truth is, or maybe it's like buying an expensive sports car or doing something that you set up a really huge personal challenge with, your, with yourself so that you'll have something to do. So in and of themselves, there's nothing wrong with any of those things. The challenges with midlife crisis is it's looking in the wrong place and doing and making any of those changes aren't going to bring you any of the happiness that you are looking for because an inner, a midlife crisis is about taking us inside to ourselves and becoming aware of our blind spot, the thing that we're not aware of, of how we relate to the world. So if you're feeling like making any of those changes, like I said, there's nothing wrong with doing any of those things and they might even be right for you. Just do them for the right reasons. If you're doing them to try and fill a void or to avoid the pain you're feeling, it's not going to help. Wait until after you've gotten through your midlife crisis and then decide. That inner void is your personal blind spot. Now, most people that go to counseling identify it incorrectly. And every single person that I've ever trained that went to counseling first wasn't even working on the correct theme for their own personal midlife crisis. So midlife crisis is about going into that void and transforming it into your strength. And all your greatest joy and happiness is on the other side of that. And that's the purpose of your midlife crisis. Talking with a man that I know fairly well and have known for quite some time recently, and he didn't want to work with me on midlife crisis because his um, therapist told him that meditation would be of no help, which is really unfortunate. So the truth was, even though he'd been going to counseling by this time for more than six years, he'd been working on the wrong thing. His personal midlife crisis was about spirituality 
and about being inspirational and about helping other people discover themselves. And that was his, the thing that would really light him up. His therapist had him working on all these relationship issues. And the truth was, is that he was actually really good at relationships and they were a distraction from what his, the true calling was for him in his personal midlife crisis. So six years later, he'd been doing all this counseling and he was no happier than when he'd started because he was looking for um, the joy in a place that he personally wasn't meant to find it. So I don't want that to happen for you. Now, everybody's midlife crisis issue is different. Maybe yours will be in going into relationships, but it's only true for you if that's working on your personal blind spot. Now, for most people, just like him, their personal blind spot is something that is completely unexpected. So if I told him today that he would find the greatest joy and, and happiness through going through spirituality and helping others do the same, or at least do something where they're working on their own self-development, he would think that I was crazy. But if he did it, he'd be really happy. So there's one thing that does work regardless of your theme that you have in your midlife crisis, and this helps you to do that paradigm changing. And that is self-healing, meditation, and pranayama. Because you cannot get through your midlife crisis at the level of the mind. These other techniques, self-healing, meditation, and pranayama, work 15,000 to 1 million times faster than working with the mind, which is why you can get through it in only a couple of years. So... And in meditation, it also has to be something that's specific to med midlife crisis. Just trying to listen to a Be Calm app isn't going to do it. They have to be techniques that are specific to going into your blind spot. See how this can help you. We have a mini course called Ho'oponopono for Midlife Crisis. And this course is taught live over Zoom video. But to make sure that it's right for you, we do require an entrance interview from everybody. We do this just to make sure that what you're experiencing really is a midlife crisis and not something else such as stress. Now we do have other programs for people that are experiencing stress or even another issue that could look like a midlife crisis. So make sure you do that entrance interview and we will make sure that you get into the right program to move you forward successfully.